What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're sitting in a six liter. We're back to six liters, a good uh, buddy of mine has this truck and he's been having issues. He has a reoccurring P132B issue coming up. So we're kind of trying to help diagnose here. Do we have stuck turbo vanes? Is it a sensor? We're trying to just figure out what's happening here. So we're going through some of the things. Uh, we're monitoring with a Livewire TS Plus. I'm not super familiar with this. I know SCT, but we're not super familiar with the Livewire monitoring system. But we are gonna get this truck out for a test spin, see if we can help kind of figure some of this out. Okay, so again, guys, we're monitoring this. I'm gonna bring up what I have up here on the screen and we're gonna kind of go over this and uh, let you guys know what I think is important to look for. Okay, I think some of this is coming up, but if not, I'm just gonna tell you what's going on. So we have uh, engine oil temp, coolant temp, trans temp, obviously, uh, and the monitors we're gonna be, or the things we're gonna be looking at here is gonna be turbo boost, VGT duty cycle. We have ICP duty cycle, which is actually the IPR value, and in ICP in PSI. Now, if you're tuned, you need this, the PSI value, down here in volts to read correctly. We also have Fickle Main. We're sitting at a good 48 for the most part, 48.5. So we're good there. Now that's what I have up here that's gonna help us diagnose. I'm gonna explain some of this while we get driving and let you know exactly what I'm looking for. Hey guys, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out a lot, especially if you like videos like this, along with other stuff like racing, dyno events. We have our 6.7 over there that we do nonsense with as well. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Thanks a lot. Okay, so we're just heading down the lane here. We're not completely warmed up. So, since we're not completely warmed up, obviously, we're not gonna get on it too hard here. But what I'm looking for first right now is turbo boost and what the VGT duty cycle is doing. So a lot of times this code is set because the truck says, hey, I should be seeing more boost than I am. And it's obviously not getting there. Let's see, what was the max value there? 18, yeah, we're definitely not getting enough boost at 18 PSI. Uh, I wasn't in it super hard again. We're just letting the truck warm up. We'll retest this in a little bit here once we uh, once we have the truck warmed up. Some other things we're looking for, you just wanna verify that you have a healthy ICP and IPR. So on this next little pool I'm gonna do, we're actually going to check that. Because if you don't have enough fuel, which your ICP is what helps uh, push the fuel in with the Huey injection system, I will say this, this turbo is screaming. Like, it just feels like something's clogged somewhere. We have healthy ICP here. Now it's commanding about 3,500 at 70% IPR. So that's good. We would expect to see, see something along those lines, but it should definitely be building more boost. Uh, so some things I I'm going to look for when we get back are we're going to look for some exhaust leaks, although I don't hear any obvious ones. It doesn't mean there isn't one, just that it's not um, super uh, loud, I should say. Okay, so what we've done so far is we've verified that the ICP and IPR are right. Now, typically those codes won't necessarily trip this, uh, but just when you're diagnosing a performance issue, it's good to get your eye on those, on those two numbers, your FICM. We're up to operating temp now. The transmission's still a little cold, but for the most part, we're at operating temp. Again, now we've already replaced the boots. We knew they were an issue and they have helped. He did say they have helped, but we're definitely seeing, like at a, at a idle, his veins should close more than that. So your VGT duty cycle, we're gonna explain this for a second, why it's important, because it's what your computer, what the ECM is commanding them to do. So it's not necessarily the actual value as it is what it's telling it to do. And it's telling them right now, like I'm off the throttle, they should be closing up. 
and they're sitting at 50%. This number goes from 15 to 85. And you don't wanna see those extremes. Now on a tune, you can see uh, 75 to 80% if, it, if you have something that wants to do the whistle at idle. That's normal. But this truck right now, I mean, when we're slowing down and stuff, like it should be, it should be closing those up and it's not. It should also, it should also want to go a little more closed. Like right now it's at 0.4 and we're only at 15 pounds of boost. We're going to get to a place where we can pull over. I couldn't find, I'm going to see if we can't bring up exhaust back pressure, but I don't think the SCT series monitors that very well. So that's the only other thing I didn't have room to put on here that I wanted. So we're going to get exhaust back pressure and uh, we're going to start going from there. Okay. So I can't bring up exhaust back pressure on here. I can't figure it out. So we're going to take this back. We've, we've confirmed that the VGT duty cycle itself is acting weird. So there's that. So what we're gonna do now is the map sensor's already been replaced once. So I wanna look at that tube that goes to the map sensor, make sure that's not messed up. From there, we're gonna go through and check for any exhaust leaks. We're gonna be looking at the Y pipe. Um, it doesn't look like, it doesn't sound like there's any issues from the Y pipe to the turbo itself. So, we're gonna go check some obvious signs and see what's there and go over what we've done so far. I'll see you guys back at the shop. Okay guys, so we took this out for a spin and we're just kind of checking things. So we looked at the Y pipe, we looked at the firewall. There doesn't appear to be any visible soot. So that's a good thing. Uh, we checked the manifolds looking for that. This side looked excellent. This side has oil, so it's kind of hard to tell if we have a leak here. I don't think there's a leak because if we had an exhaust leak, what I would expect to see the VGT duty cycle is try to press it higher, close the veins to create back pressure to spin it. We don't have that. I don't think we have a boost leak either. All the clamps and boots are all brand new riffraff. Here's what I do think could happen. This map sensor, I need to verify that it's actually a Ford one. I know it's been replaced. I want to make sure it's actually a good Ford one. The other thing is that hose needs inspected and probably just replaced to be safe. Now, the reason I say those things over directly pull the turbo is one map sensors very, very rarely fail in these trucks. It can happen. It's not super common. So typically not your place to do it. The easiest way to check that is to pull your tube off and go into it and register it on your uh, monitor and see if it's doing its thing. But likely that is not your failure point. The tube, they fail and they can cause this issue. So it could be as dumb as that, not letting the truck do everything else. But what I think is trying to happen here, because the VGT duty cycle didn't do exactly what I would have expected either. Uh, so I'm it's kind of weird. It's trying to open them and it's not building boost. So I'd expect it to want to close it, not open them. So, but then as we drove it more, we were able to get some higher boost numbers out of it. Uh, and so what I think is happening, I do think we have sticking veins, whether that be in the VGT solenoid, which it's only like a year old turbo. So I don't think that's it. Uh, it could be sticking veins. It just seems weird. He's had this reoccurring issue numerous times now. And uh, he, we just keep replacing turbos. I shouldn't say we, I've never done it. Um, but he's he's replacing turbos and it's not fixing it. So uh, that is concerning to me. I hate to see people spend hard earned money on stuff, but he has a guy that's gonna pull it and clean it. So that should give us a little bit better of an idea of what's happening with this truck. And I'm gonna let him know what I found and what I think they should do moving forward. Uh, check your easy stuff first guys check your sensors like those tubes I talked about check your exhaust back pressure sensor That can be the issue your exhaust back pressure sensor reading incorrectly And I do I mean I'm gonna recommend that they look into that as a potential issue I always recommend replace the tube and sensor together if you have one issue They're probably both not far behind you can clean the tube a little bit of brake clean and uh, I can't think of what the heck the thing is 
like a flexible bendy tube. Oh, you got it. pipe cleaner. There we go. A little pipe cleaner down there. Clean that up. Uh, it'd probably be good as new, but they're pretty cheap. Might as well just get a new one if you want it. That's just my opinion, but you can clean them. So whatever you're into, whatever. So my recommendation to start diagnosing this code would be the exhaust back pressure, figure that out, especially if you can verify that it's not reading accurately um, in the truck. The SCT didn't let me do that, but Torque Pro, 4Scan, Edge CTS series will all let you verify that uh, on the six liter. So I would highly recommend looking at that for you guys if you're in this scenario. Again, map sensors don't typically fail. Your map sensors don't typically fail either. Check your wiring, make sure connections are in. Uh, check the tube to your map sensor. Check your boots, your intercooler boots. Super common issue on these trucks that people overlook all the time, especially if you have a wet spot in the valley. We did go ahead and replace these on here. Um, so these are all replaced and brand new. So we know they're not good. I personally did the work uh, and I do trust myself. The only other thing uh, that you could consider that I can think of right now would be checking the plastic end caps on your intercooler. Uh, they can fail too, but it wasn't, this seemed to be turbo wine I was hearing uh, as opposed to just a leak, you know, so it just seems like the turbo is spinning really, really fast and not really doing what it needs to do. So there, there we go, guys. Those are my recommendations for helping to diagnose this code. Uh, I will update when this truck has figured out what's going on with it. Like I said, as I drove it and really got on it, I was able to get it to build to, you know, 20, 21 PSI. Uh, for a second, but I couldn't get it. It should really be building 24 to 28, uh, depending on how hard you're being on the truck, and it's not able to do that this time. So we gotta get something figured out here because it's not quite right. So I will update you guys when I have that information. In the meantime, if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, drop those comments down below, guys. I'll see you in the next upload.